What's up, everybody? It's Enosh here, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, along with the lovely... Tiptastic. Or... Grand Tip Target. The, the Tiffinator, as it were. I'll be back. Oh, she's back, believe me. And hey, <laughs> welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge, a place for nerds. Like you, and like me, and like her. I left my glasses at work. <laughs> hey guys, today we are talking about a story that came out this week, um, and that is a lot of you know that uh, James Cameron has once again secured the rights to the Terminator... Terminator? Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> totally new series, Terminator. He's from the South. Yeah, the Terminator. Um, no, hey, the you Terminator... The, gerb? <laughs> the Terminator franchise. We're leaving it in. We're just going with it. All okay. right, here we go. Uh, the Terminator franchise, and uh, which is a very exciting thing, yes. right? Um, and we so, grew up with it. Yeah, and so they're making a new movie... That's going to actually have not only Arnold Schwarzenegger, but the return of Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. And I love that. Yes. And so uh, so we got to talk about this day because pictures came out this week, Tiff, of Linda Hamilton. she's also blonde. Yes. Yes, she has. <laughs> she has gone blonde. So, um, so first of all, what are your initial reaction? What is your initial reaction to this news i'm excited i actually like what they've done with the franchise in the past and i i like i actually liked probably not as much as you did but i liked the um terminator was a genesis the newest one mm -hmm. and the fact that he could come back and reprise that role and still just kind of I, I liked what they did with it so you know i've got good and bad memories of terminator from my childhood so it's one of those things that i, I can't wait to see what they do next so what were the bad memories of terminator from your the childhood? bad memory was probably more my fault i was a little young to watch terminator 2 and it was i've always loved it i loved what arnold did with it i loved you know the whole part but um it was that scene specifically that i remember and it was when he the t-1000 was it is was in the mm -hmm. kitchen and he's trying to talk to john connor and he says you know wolfie's fine and then he's <laughs> like and the next thing you know you see this metal thing go through the the guy's head and that kind of messed with me so yeah. Milk does a, does a body good, but it does not, not keep face. you from getting liquid metal in the face. So what are you going to do? That was right? the only bad thing, though. Everything else was good with Terminator. Yeah. So um, so I love Terminator. Um, I actually saw Terminator 2 before I saw the original Terminator. Wow. Okay. And uh, I love Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is one of those kind of movies that is like almost like the perfect movie. I mean, just this, the way that it's put together and from start to finish, it's just action and it's, it's good writing and just everything about it, um, is something, uh, that I like. And so, sorry, the, the dog is, is scaring me right now. Our, our dog is getting into stuff. Um, but anyway, so I love Terminator and, um, you know, Terminator 1 is a good movie. I don't think it's as good as Terminator 2, but it's still... But it real. had some setting up to do for yeah, that. Yeah, so. I mean, obviously. But Terminator is a great uh, movie. Terminator 3... Is that the one with the chick? Yeah, it was still a good movie. I, w I wouldn't say it's a horrible movie. It was still a good movie, but it, it had its flaws. Yeah. And, and I think one of the things it suffered from was, in Terminator 2, one of the things we all loved about Terminator 2 was the relationship of John with the yes. Terminator. And I think that when that got taken away, and even John was experiencing it in that movie, John yeah. Connor, where like that he's separation. like, yeah, he's like, you were like a dad to me. You were this, and remember, like we all felt that that pain. Mm -hmm. And I think that that took us out of that movie because we wanted this continuation of Terminator Two to be yes. this something special between John and, and the Terminator and Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, and it just wasn't there. And so then, then he had Terminator Salvation with. Um, uh, old Batman. Yeah, with with old Batman uh, <laughs> Christian Bale, and I, you know, I wouldn't say that one was horrible either. I mean, it told a side but of the it story. Was different. Yeah, it told a side <laughs> of the story that we kind of wanted to hear, you know, about what the war was like and yeah. stuff. But it just it it, it just lacked, and yeah, I think that's the best something. description of the last three movies. Is just they've been all right. They've been great concepts, kind of good ideas, but they just were Not lacking so much on the big screen. Yeah, Genesis Genesis to me just could have been better you know i just like the fact that we had not had one in so long so to bring it back the way that they did in the little twists and turns i thought that was actually kind of cool but and i think... bring young sarah connor into yes it. yeah so yes. that's that's cool so one thing we do have to mention then is uh the sarah connor chronicles the yes. tv show if you haven't checked that show out it was only two seasons uh 
It was an excellent show, and we started watching it. I, I, I watched never it. seen it, so yeah. he started getting me hooked on it, and two two episodes in, and I want to know what's going on next. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a great show. I mean, and I and I love the fact that on the show, like there's there's all this this tension between John and uh, and Summer Glau as as yeah. the Terminator. I mean, I mean, come on, you send a gorgeous. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he did. He did. I mean, I guess, I guess if like future you would do the same thing. Old old man, you is you know sitting there in the future going, hmm, what can I do? I'll send myself a gorgeous looking Terminator babe who must do anything that I tell her to do at any time that looks just like Summer Glau. I think any fourteen year old boy would be like, uh oh. Yeah, yeah, but you know it was it was great too because on the show, anytime John and the Terminator mm-hmm. were missing somewhere, and they were and they'd look at everybody look at each other and go, "Where's John? Where is she? What's going on? We got to find him." And it wasn't because they were worried that they were getting into trouble with with some other Terminator or whatever. They were, they were worried. Getting in some trouble. They were worried they were getting into some trouble, and so um, so. But it was a great show. Um, unfortunately, it ended on a cliffhanger. And uh, and got canceled. Just and that's, like Quantum Leap. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but you know it was it's what it was. But it was but it was a really good show, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm a big Terminator fan. And yes. when I found out that James Cameron was getting the rights back, yeah. that excited me because I knew one of two things were going to happen. Either James was going to look at it and go, "I'm done. I can <laughs> finally <out>. protect <laughs> protect this from everybody else, and we're not going to have any more." Or let's do this right. Yeah. And uh, so I love the fact that he actually is taking it to this other level where. Um, it's it's an actual direct sequel. I was going to say, how are they going to do that with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger aging? <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, they'll, they'll figure out something, you know, I mean. Well, the, they did with, with, you know, Tron and Clue and making it. Well, even animation. the last Terminator, in Terminator Genesis, I mean, they, they had a reason. It's Well, it's also amazing what some, some dark back hair in color can do. Well, yeah, and I mean, in Terminator Genesis, I, I did like that explanation where they said he went back in time to the 50s, and by that time, the the, the organic material yeah, had aged, down. right? And so, I mean, so that makes sense. So I, I think that they, they can they can work that in there somewhere. Um, but I like the fact that, you know, they're kind of ignoring part three. They're ignoring salvation. We're they're sorry ignoring... about this. Let's just continue along this path. <laughs> right? And so, um, so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. And I mean, the, the big news is... Linda Hamilton. Yes. I mean, we, when you favorite. watch Terminator 2, there's one thing that you can definitely walk away from with Terminator 2, and that is Linda Hamilton kicked she is BA. so much butt in that movie. Um, and uh, to see her now in her 60s, mm-hmm. and to see these pictures, and we're showing these pictures, to see these pictures of her um it's in her 60s Take as a, a blonde, you know, and stuff. We don't know who this guy is in the picture. There's some guy on set or whatever. But to see that, hmm, man, I am excited to see what she's going to do in this movie, what they have her doing, yep. um, where this story goes from here now that James Cameron is producing this. Now, he's not going to direct it, but he's producing it. And um, It's too bad that we can't get a cameo from Robert Patrick from the first one. Well, you know, the guy knows? that we met at Comic Con. Yeah, maybe? we kind of we we had some brushes with Terminator <laughs> he people. He is super cool. Yeah, we we, we actually met him. Uh, Summer Glau was at the Motor City Comic Con yes. this year, and uh, there I mean, was too many other people we wanted to meet. But when we did meet Robert Patrick, I fell in love with him watching him on Scorpion. So I was kind of picking his brain about that. But he was so sweet because he's played such a gruff guy in a lot of his movies and his shows and. He took the time with our kids to sit there and go down the line of everything he's been in until it ended up being something like Spy Kids, like something yeah. off movie. <laughs> they but had it, not seen he him did yet. that until the he, our kids figured out, oh, I know who you are. Yeah. So he was a very do you remember, sweet Do you guy. remember what I said to him? What the first thing is I said to him? I brought my son Landon up to him and I said, have you seen this boy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he he took that with He's like, yeah, I had heard that up. Yeah, no, he laughed. He, he joked. Laughed. Yeah, he, he thought it was funny. Um, but so, so, so we saw Summer Glau from afar. Yes. Um, we also saw, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but the lady, she played Sarah Connor in the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Yeah. Uh, she's also on Game of Thrones, and uh, she was there, but her line was so long, too, yeah. that we, there was just no way we were going to get in to see her. And so um, so we've had some brushes with, yes. with the Terminator franchise, yes. as it were. But um, Anyone else who would like to come meet us, please, by all means, come on the show. We'd love to have you. 
This is an open invitation <laughs> from to anybody from from the Poindexter Lounge, Summer Glau. You are more than welcome. We'll tweet her. Yes. And uh, you are more than welcome to come anytime, and and be a guest here <laughs> in the lounge. All right. Uh, so yeah. So that so that's what's going on, folks. Terminator movie is being made. Linda Hamilton is back. It's. I'm really hoping because yes. I. These last three movies, they looked really good in the in the in the trailers and everything, yeah. and and I I really felt it was going to happen, and then you just went and like you said, there was something, something missing. missing. I'm really hoping that this one is the one that knocks it out of the park and brings it back up to the level because Terminator is a great yes. franchise and it's a great we idea. Need to teach the, we need to show those to the boys. Yeah, well, we have we've we've started showing those to one. the boys. Yeah. And so, um, you know, but it, it's a great, it's a great concept. And I'll tell you what, it's a scary concept because yeah. with some of the stuff that we see nowadays with AI and everything, things that we thought used to be science Optical fiction. Optical implants and stuff like that. Yeah. The things that we thought used to be science fiction, um, you know, is, is happening, it seems, all around us, right? And so there's a lot of memes and jokes about Skynet and stuff. But, like, when there's an actual company called Skynet. Or and Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne and stuff, <laughs> like, you go, hmm. Like I, I think I saw a meme once that said that all this, all all these uh, movies and everything were just like because it actually does happen in the future, and so this is the are these are the Terminators sending the the machines sending uh, people Terminators back in time to make these movies to to dumb us down <laughs> nice. so so that we are just like you know oh there's a company named Cyberdyne we're not worried about that it's just like the movie uh, that's kind of scary but hey what do you think this this we're so glad that you're with us. We're so glad that you joined us for uh, this episode of uh, the Lounge, and uh, we just we want to know what you have to think because that's what this channel is all about. Have you heard something different than we have? It's all about the fans, and it's all about us sitting down and having a conversation. Nerding out. So hey, please leave your comments down in the comment section. Your opinions, your ideas, what you think this movie is going to be like, what you would like to see in yes. a continuation of the Terminator franchise. What did you like or not like about the previous movies yourself? Yeah. Yeah, and then also, hey, continue the conversation on Twitter at Enosh Music, and uh, we can talk about it there. And I, hey, I try to answer everybody, and uh, you know, because I like subscribe too. Yeah, and hey, while you're at it, see here, what other fun things we're doing, like unboxing a tie fighter. Yes, subscribe to the channel and uh, and tell your friends about it, and hit that notifications bell so that you know when we're making these videos because we do a lot of fun stuff yes, on this channel, do. don't we, Tiffany? What do we talk about on this, this channel? We talk about a little bit of everything. We talk about toys and games and movies and everything in between. Yeah, and so far, all these videos we make, we've had a little bit of a toy for everything. Because we kind of are nerdy like that. We're a little nerdy. But hey, but. this is the Poindexter Lounge. A place for nerds. Yes. All right. So until next time, I'm Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and as always, with me, the lovely Tiff Tastic or Grand Tiff Tarkin, or uh, the Tiffinator. Yes. She'll be back. <laughs> Come with us if you want to live. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>